test, test, testing, testing, testing. Yeah, I don't hear it either. Testing, test, testing, test. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing. Yeah, I'm tapping on it and talking. Testing, test, test, testing, testing. Okay, put it back in. Uh, there must be something. Maybe a preamp.
Testing, testing, testing. No, nope, nothing here. Testing. Testing. Yeah, I heard. Testing. Testing. There they go. Connor X went to his knees at the break, but has recovered. From the inside, back shacks on the early late. Here comes Majestic Street, rolling up on the outside. In between them is Counter X. It's about four back to Sharpsand, and four more back is road closure. Into the clubhouse turn they go. Back shack has the rail and a short lead. Majestic Street trying to drive it up on the outside. Counter X sits in third by three, then Sharpsand. And two back, road closure. Opening quarter at 21 and four as they head down the back stretch. Majestic Street from the outside now by a half. Back Shack, second by three. Moving up on the far outside, road closure. Sharp Sand saving ground at the rail and counteracts in between them. They've reached the far turn, a quarter to home. The half, 45 flat. From the outside, Majestic Street now by a neck at the rail, back Shack. Sharp Sand is only a length and a half back in third. Counteract and road closure as they turn for home. Majestic Street with a short lead. And down the lane they come. Majestic Street. Here's Sharp Sand emerging on the outside. And Back Shack at the rail. Three across the track. Sharp Sand, Back Shack. They hit the wire. It might be Sharp Sand over Back Shack. Going to be close. Majestic Street and Counteract followed by road closure.
Down they go. Jack Talk got away awkwardly. He's off C on the outside and back to Liberty from the rail. Battle for the early lead. 151, a length and a half back in third. It's three now back to Crypto Money and about 10 back to the trailer, Jock Talk. They're on the turn and from the inside, back to Liberty has the lead. Now by a length and a quarter, it is A's off C sitting in second. 151 is third. Then three lengths back is Crypto Money and Jock Talk, the trailer. Through the stretch for the first time, opening quarter a solid 23 and three. Back to Liberty from the rail with the short lead. Azov C now pestering up on the outside. 151 is a length and a half back in third. Crypto Money is fourth, but only two and a half off the lead. And it's still about eight to Jock Talk. As they run past the half mile marker, the half went up in 47 and four. To the back stretch they go. Back to Liberty leads it by three quarters of a length. On the outside, Azov C trying to drive up the inside is 151. Length and a half back, Crypto Money. Jock Talk is now creeping a little closer. We lost the rider on the 2, 151. Went down at about the 3 eighths pole. Rounding the far turn now, it is back to Liberty with the lead by three quarters of a length. A's off C, second by a length and a half. Crypto Money sits in third, and Jock Talk fourth. Eighth of a mile from home, and back to Liberty has the lead. And down the lane they come. Back to Liberty, extends the lead now to three. Azov C second, Crypto Money third. It's back to Liberty, winning it by three and a half. Azov C second, Crypto Money third, Jock Talk is fourth. Pull up short riders, we do have a horse and rider down in the back stretch. Pull up short. There they go. Sloop John B put right on the early lead. Accordingly, drives up on the outside. Cab Sav now slips through at the rail, followed by Ehrlich, and Logical Al is the early trailer. Rounding the far turn, and Cab Sav from the rail leads it by a neck. Sloop John B's on the outside, second by a length and a half. It's Accordingly who gets away in third. Two lengths back, Logical Al on the inside. On his outside is Ehrlich. Opening quarter, a sensible 24 and 1. As a race bias now for the first time, Cab Sav has the rail and the lead. Sloop John B pressing on the outside. Two and a half lengths back accordingly in third. Ehrlich is fourth. Logical Al the trailer. Into the clubhouse turn they go. The half comes up now in 47 and 3. And Cab Sav passes the half mile marker with a half length lead. Sloop John B, second by two and a half. Accordingly is third. Ehrlich is fourth, about five off the lead. And Logical Al now coming under a ride. As they race past the three-eighths marker, Cab Sav still with the lead from the inside. Sloop John B still on the outside, pressing up. Accordingly, two and a half back in third. Logical Al asks for more run in fourth. And Ehrlich is fifth. Quarter mile from home, six for lungs in one twelve and three. Sloop John B on the outside, pops ahead in front. Cab Sav, accordingly not done yet. Then Logical Al and Ehrlich, eighth of a mile from home. Cab Sav and Sloop John B, they've been at each other's throats from the start. Accordingly is now coming three wide. Cab Sav, Sloop John B, accordingly is moving in. But Cab Sav will prevail. Very close for second. Sloop John B and accordingly, Logical Al and Ehrlich.
There they go. Stay fantastic. Hustled off for the early lead on the outside. Wisely played in second. Further out is Paint Me Lucky in third. The early trailer is Port Langley. Rounding the turn on the inside. Stay fantastic. Paint Me Lucky though pressing up on the outside to grab the lead. Length and a half back is wisely played. Length and a half to Fort Langley as they sweep by us now for the first time. The opening quarter, 24 and 1. From the outside, Paint Me Lucky pops ahead in front. Holding the inside though is Stay Fantastic. Two lengths back, wisely played, and three lengths for the back is Fort Langley. Into the clubhouse turn they go, and Stay Fantastic from the rail now grabs a short lead again. Paint Me Lucky right there at his throat. It's two lengths back down to wisely played, and only a length and a half back to Fort Langley. Half was 47 and three. As they head down the back stretch, Stay Fantastic on the inside, on the outside, Paint Me Lucky. They've opened up three now on Wisely Played, and on his outside is Fort Langley. As they race past the 5 16 marker, six furlongs, one twelve and two. Field is taking closer order. Stay Fantastic, Paint Me Lucky. Now moving three wide is Wisely Played. Four deep on the track is Fort Langley. Three sixteenths from home. Stay Fantastic on the inside has a narrow advantage and down the lane they come stay fantastic leads it by ahead paint me lucky wisely played far outside fort langley it's stay fantastic finding a little more stay fantastic will go all the way wisely played second paint me lucky third fort langley fourth There they go. From the rail, infinite patience. Now from the outside, here comes Be Quick, rolling up on the outside. Just Jimmy right there. As they pass by us now, it is just Jimmy from the rail with the lead by a half. Be Quick, second by three quarters of a length on the outside, smart lad. Infinite patience now in behind horses and on the outside is set to shine. Into the clubhouse turn they go and just Jimmy shows the way now by just over a length. From the outside, be quick. Infinite patience, full of run, but nowhere to go. Smart lad ranges up on the outside and set to shine. As they head down the back stretch, opening quarter, a moderate 22 and three. And it is still with the lead, just Jimmy. Be quick right there, smart lad, infinite patience, two off it in fourth and set to shine. Now put under a drive. The half, 46 and three. Past the quarter pole they go. And just Jimmy leads it over, be quick. Moving up, set to shine, far outside. Infinite patience crying out for room. As they turn for home, it is just Jimmy. But here's set to shine, rambling up on the outside. Set to shine now grabs the lead. It's set to shine, just Jimmy. Set to shine to win it by a length. Just Jimmy second, gonna be close for third. Be quick and infinite patience. There they go. Aquitania arrival from the rail has a narrow lead. Sir Bregovic and Bold Arch come to make a line of three. I'm Corfu gets away in fourth. Settling in fifth now is Anarchy. And foreign protocol is the trailer a dozen off the lead. Into the clubhouse turn they go and Bold Arch presses the pace and goes on with it. Bold Arch leads it now by a length and a half. Sir Bregovic second by two. It's Aquitania arrival in third by three. I'm Corfu, Anarchy, 
the trailer for in protocol. The opening quarter at 21 and 3. Midway in the back stretch and now three for longs to run. And Bold Arch leads it by a length and a half. Sir Bregovic in second. Aquitania arrival at the rail in third. And now ask for more run. Then a gap of three and a half to I'm Corfu. Anarchy on the outside and four in protocol. Half was 44 and three. Three sixteenths from home. They have to come and catch Bold Arch. And Bold Arch leads it by three. And down the lane they come with Bold Arch in command. It's Sir Bregovic in second. At the rail, Aquitania arrival. And I'm Corfu. Bold Arch goes all the way. Wins it by almost four. Sir Bregovic second. I'm Corfu third. Aquitania arrival was fourth. There they go. Remember the Alamo sent out for the early lead. Three day bender now drives up the inside. Jersey's image, Santabello from the extreme outside. Atomic Hayes and self serving under the line for the first time. And three day bender shows the way. Remember the Alamo second by a head. Santabello is three deep on the track. There's a big break now of about six to Jersey's image, Atomic Hayes. The trailer is self serving with about nine lengths to make up. They went through the opening quarter very quick, 22 and three, as they head down the back stretch. Three day bender with the lead of a length and a half. It is remember the Alamo second by a length and a half. Santabello third by about five. Jersey's image, Atomic Hayes, and self-serving yet to get underway. The half is 46 and four. Quarter mile from home. Three day bender is clear by two and a half. Remember the Alamo second by three. Santabello is third, Atomic Hayes, as they get set to turn for home. Three day bender confronted by Remember the Alamo. And down the lane they come, new leader. It's Remember the Alamo, and he strides clear by three. Three day bender, Atomic Hayes, and Jersey's image. Remember the Alamo wins the nightcap. Three day bender second, Jersey's image third. Self serving fourth photo for fifth.
And a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Saturday afternoon edition of Hastings Racing Live, presented by BC Racebook on Cup Day. Track announcer Dan Juke is being joined, as usual, by our Natalie Attired, mm. Paddock host and handicapper Mike Heads. We're going to preview all eight races on today's card. Hopefully get you headed in the right direction. Yep, a little overtime today. Uh, eight races, uh, somewhat wagering profile changes. The pick four to start in race number five. Uh, one race later than usual. Right. Uh, we do have three pick threes. There you go. Yeah. But yes, uh, ideal conditions, warmish temperatures, post parades, uh, I don't know, they likely will be shortened. But uh, yeah, it's pretty warm out there today. Fast racing strip for eight races today. Yeah, I thought I'd just participate a little bit. All right, and, uh, I like it. Come get fancy. It's <laughs> as fancy as I can get anyway. All right, let's get right into the opener. It's Maidens. They're going to go six and a half furlongs, first half of the double exactor and triactor wagering. Five of the little darlings. Where'd you go to kick it off? Well, the two horse grooving his back is definitely, uh, you know, this horse is big, taking the draw from Maiden 16 right. in here for the for the eight and in for the 10,000 being a BC bred. Uh, you know, it's not a lot of speed in here. I think grooving his back is going to get a, a perfect scenario in here. Uh, maybe the four CC Sunrise might be able to upset. upset. Goes without blinkers, gets in light with apprentice Fraser Abel. He's, Really going well. Had four yes. winners this week in Winnipeg, and uh, so it looks you know continue with his hot trend. But uh, I thought the two and the four were the horses in here, and I put the uh, one horse Barbary Bandit in for third. Well, I'm going to head to one horse you didn't head to. And that's the three Texas Legacy, eight for nine in the money. One of these days, this little darling's going to break her maiden. I'm going to say it's going to be today. It's like drill, baby, drill. You know the scenario. If it's perfect, she's going to get the job done. Yeah, eventually uh, does lose ably to the four horse CC Sunrise, right. but uh, but you're right, uh, definitely a horse that's uh, been running well. Uh, doesn't seem to ba run a bad race, no. but uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I could certainly see the horse winning today. It's not it's not really a tough a tough event, but I thought Groove in his back is really drawn a nice spot yeah, on, on the big class drop, and you and you get some guy named Perez too that's batting forty percent. So. Yeah. All right, the opener, Mike's heading to the two, grooving his back. I'm going to head to the three, Texas Legacy. On to race two now, field of five non-twos, six and a half, exactor try, and one dollar pick five wagering. It did get a hit on last Sunday, so there's no carryover. To Be Sunny takes the drop, got to be the horse for me. I agree, To Be Sunny is the horse to beat. Uh, you know, I've been, as you know, married to this horse in, all the, in a lot tougher races. Right. And the horse really did disappoint me last time by running last, and I just hope the horse can't, can't still has some run to it. But I was a little concerned, but I can't leave her alone today, so I've gone to her to win it. Put the one horse perfect penny in for second, and I'm going to put the five horse drill baby drill in for third. But I thought it was four, one, and five. It's kind of the way I see it. No love for anyone, uh, you know. It's, yeah. it's it's a lot of these horses had a lot of chances and. Uh, but uh, I'm going to head to the four to be sunny. I agree with you, and I've just uh, reversed the two uh, second and third horses. I got four, five, and one. So in race two, we agree on the four to be sunny. On to the third race now, field of six. They're going to go six and a half, exactor try. Superfecta, pick three, wagering here. She's on fire for me. Kamal Santo rides for trainer Rob Van Overshot. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I like she's on fire. There isn't a lot of speed in here other than maybe the four, let me 20, and the five, li little sister Lee. Who they're trying to rate. They tried to send her along last time. She rated nicely. Prior to that, she's gone 23, 47. Like, she's not really a, a crazy speed horse. And anytime she does go a little quick early, right. she gets beat. Right. So uh, I just thought she's on fire was very interesting in here coming out of the Blackstone De Niro race. That was against the boys. Uh, I like her in this spot, getting back in against the girls. Put little sister Lee in for second. I know she's going to break through soon, and she could certainly win it. Right. I'm not keying. She's on fire. But uh, I definitely like her ahead of the five. And I put the four horse, lent me 20 on the clock. Back to down, down here for four grand or for five grand because she's a BC bred. Right. But I 
definitely give this horse respect as well. I went two, five, and four. All right, race three, we agree on the two. She's on fire. On to the fourth race now. Field of six are going to go six and a half. Exactor try. Superfecta, another pick three yep. starting here with the eight race card. It's a field of six that have not finished in the top three in regular races. You're going to look at a horse like Ace Deuce who finished second, yeah. but this horse was in this condition last time, yeah, you can run so it was second. allowed to run right back into it again, and that's where I, I had it. Yeah, I, it's tough to get past Ace Deuce in here, and it's in command is also, uh, it's four and five or five and four for me in here. Right. I did go Ace Deuce. He didn't get the best of trips last time. He broke on top was wrestled back, had to weave his way through traffic, was closing up well at the end, but it's in command, had some easy fractions, and it's going to get easy fractions again today. Not a lot of speed. So uh, he's going to have another big shot to lead throughout. So I don't want to lead. I, I like four and five in here. Those are the two horses. I did go five, four, and I put the one horse, Tiz Meow, making his second start of the season in for third, because he's eligible on his best day to win this race, and uh, I, don't, I wouldn't want you to be leave that one out if you're going to go three deep. I got the same three, five, four, and one. So race four, we agree on the five, ace, deuce. On to race five, now kicks off the $20,000 guaranteed pick four. It's a field of six, and make the rider on the two, Tuxedo, Kamal Santo. We're going to send them a mile and a sixteenth. Also, Exactor, Try, and Superfecta wagering. Cillerone comes off a claim for young trainer uh, Nicole. Nicole Rycroft that makes a blinker change here and I got to give this horse a big shot in here. Yeah, it's just a, a small event uh, like uh, these horses run for 7500 the three-year-olds but uh, these are the non two you know cheapest that they can run and right. uh, I like Nicole both Nicole's horses uh, she's claimed these horses uh, Cillerone and Dynamiter they look to be the best on paper I'm going to lean towards Cillerone Ridge Balgobe and rode both of them last time and uh, you know he, he ends up on this horse so uh, I'm going to go 1-5, and I did put the uh, two-horse tuxedo in for third. I got the same three. Yeah, 1-5-2. So race yeah. five kicks off that $20,000 guaranteed pick four. We agree on the one, Cillerone. On to the sixth race now. Our only scratch on today's card. Scratch the six, Serengeti Sunset. Field of five. They're going to go six and a half. Exactor try, Superfecta. Last pick three on today's card. Where'd you go? Well, see, you've gone Chi Chi over Choo Choo. I went Choo Choo, Choo, Choo. Right. Choo, -choo <laughs> over Chi Chi. I like BC Choo Choo, uh, class drop, or not class drop, but a uh, rest, and then uh, good work. So, the last work in 59 and 2. Right. Chi Chi's song really had every shot last time, but just missed in a tough luck photo to BC Christie, who's also trained by uh, uh, Mel Snow. Uh, and I think Chi Chi's song and Amadeo Perez and Ridge Balgobin on BC Choo Choo should be the exactor here. Right. I went 4 5. And I put the three horse Miss Stanford in for third, but really like the four, four, five in here. I went five, four, and threw Peterson Landing in for third. Yep. So race six kicks off the last pick three on today's card. Mike's heading to the four, BC Choo Choo. I'm going to head to the five, Chi Chi Song. They're going to have fun with it, calling this one <laughs> Chi Chi's and Choo Choo's. Chi Chi and Choo Choo. Mm. Race seven, it is the cup race. It's a field of six. Older runners are going to go a mile and an eighth. We back them up right to the shoot at the back of the back stretch. Exactor tries super. Perfect, a late daily double wagering. Good race, but J Just Make Believe takes the class drop in here, and I gotta go to this guy. Yeah, I agree with Just Make Believe. This horse has uh, been running against tougher, get, get, getting terrible trips, and uh, just get, kind of unfortunate. Just things haven't worked for Just Make Believe. Right. Uh, but the company changed, the distance changed. This horse is a marath good marathon horse, and uh, probably, you know. We've got a BC Cup marathon coming in a couple weeks, right. and if they take him home, he's going to be tough in the marathon, uh, just make believe. I put the six horse, you don't own me. He's also salty as can be. Uh, Needs the lead, though. He's got to get out there. Last he's time second. He can't get dirt in his face. Yeah. Yeah. Like dirt's a big key, I think, right. for him. If he can just sit on the outside, he broke slow last time, which was, yes. uh, he, he'll toss that at you every once in a while, that little walk out of the gate, two or three behind the field, and it cost him position last time because he was a, a very good chance in that race. And he ran him remarkably well to have the lead turning for home, or at least right there turning for home. Right. But Barney Google swamped him. But, but still, this horse had had to do so much after the tardy beginning. So I went 4-6, and I put the one horse, the Philly Lizzie's girl in for third. I mean, she's a good, solid horse. Unfortunately, she's got to run against the boys again, and uh, but she's eligible. She, she is? She can win. She's, well, she's all right. What do you do with the two bodega? Beaten favorite last time, uh, well fancied last time, just didn't fire. 
No, and uh, you, you, you got to hope that the mile and eighth is what's going to wake this horse up and uh, and help it and having a couple races under his belt since the long layoff. But uh, yeah, Bodega is uh, a wild card in here that could be interesting because the mile and eighth will help him and he gets in light. Right. There's a lot of well, some things to think some, about, uh, but it's tough to sell you on the horse just the way, you know, his current, you know, I just... I need to see a little bit more. I, I really like what I've seen from the four and the six and even the one. I just think those horses are going a little bit better right, right. now. All right, race seven, it is the cup race. We agree on the four, just make believe. On to the eighth and final event field of seven. They're going to go a mile and a sixteenth. Exactor tries, Superfecta, 20 cent, super high five. No carry over there again. Also, that pool was hit last Sunday. The rider on the two, Dapper Don, is Jose Gomez. We differ in here, but you could go a few ways, I think. Yeah, I, you know, I've gone four, six, and seven. I mean, those right. are my top three horses in here, and uh, you know, the one would be my fourth one. But uh, I ended up on the seven, De Niro. This horse hasn't run long yet, but I think it will. Be, he will be quite comfortable at the mile and a sixteenth distance. Once again, a good break in the weights with Fraser. Uh, in the irons and back-to-back uh, -back runner up efforts you know, hooked into a well meant Blackstone and 3-day three 3-day three -day bender both of those horses ran their career best races by a mile to defeat De Niro so you know he's due for uh, to not hook into someone that runs their career best race right and but he, it'll depend if he can handle the distance that's the whole key and I, I don't think it'll be a problem uh, the mayor of it, Rivers Reach ran long Jersey Town uh, of course uh, is in the long years mile and he, he runs second in the BC Derby here when he was a three-year-old but a few years back but uh, he had a mile and an eight, so right. it's in the pedigree. Uh, De Niro for me, over the six something elusive. Uh, he's continues to run good races and uh, was up a little bit in class last time off the claim, but gets back down into more realistic level. And I put Mount Loki, who just missed in a tough photo, uh, to striking value. I, I just kind of rated that race a little low. You know, the time was quite slow, 149 and change. But he and turned his game around. At least he no, was, it was in, a in, big improvement. Yeah, yes, 100. Yeah. percent You know, the big horse. He's a big horse, and uh, definitely the mile 16th helped him a ton. But I, I just prefer the seven and the six ahead of him. I went seven, six, four. I went six, one, and seven. I like the six, something elusive, uh, yep. proven mile in the 16th horse. Sure. He's got three on the board finishes from three starts. Obviously, he doesn't have a win because these are maidens. Yep. But I think today may be the day, and maybe even Leary Cicheran can round out the late double with You Don't Own Me and something elusive. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's I've got him second. I, I'm not disagreeing with you on on this one. And right. I, I just think the horse is... You know, I, I'm taking a shot, just taking a shot on De Niro, hoping that the mile of 16 is going to move the horse up a bit. But his sprint runs have been good. So, but I agree. I, I, I got seven, six, and four. I mean, I think I'm not keying the seven. I mean, those are your three horses. Anyway. Right. All right, we close it out. Eighth and final event. Mike's heading to the seven. De Niro, I'm going to head to the six. Something elusive. Well, that'll wrap up the Saturday edition of Hastings Racing Live, presented by BC Racebook on Cup Day. Cup Day. Don't forget the live racing continues tomorrow. Seven races on tap and a good allowance race tomorrow, too. Yeah, we got some uh, excellent card tomorrow. Uh, uh, seven races starting at 2 o'clock. Uh, it'll be a little quieter tomorrow, but it's going to be busy today. And, and it, Get you know, those wagers in early. Yeah, because if, if some of the cup group are heading up to the windows for something they like, it's going to get busy up there because there's going to be about eight or 10,000 of them out there yep. on the tarmac. So. Uh, Will regular patrons be warned that, uh, yeah, get those wagers in early. All right, as we leave you, here's a complete look at our selections for the Saturday card. Till tomorrow. Good luck, everyone. Have a good day.
As track fast. Special welcome to everyone. Joining us for our Saturday card, it is Cup Day here at Hastings. Now please turn to your official programs for this afternoon's corrections and changes. In the first, number two, Groovin is back, three pounds over. Three, Texas Legacy is three pounds over. Number five, Darla's Fury is three pounds over. In the second, Number four, to be sunny, two pounds over. In the third, number four, lent me 20 is five over. Number five, little sister Lee, three pounds over. In the fourth, number six, timeless shrug, one pound over. Please note, today's $20,000 guaranteed pick four starts in race five. The owner line on number one, Cillerone, adds Cheryl Benson. The rider on number two, Tuxedo, is Kamal Santo. Number four, Silver Arrow, five over. Correct the weight on the five, Dynamiter to 122. Now please turn to the sixth. Race six, number one, Higher Image, two over. Number five, Chi Chi Song, three over. Scratch, the six, Serengeti Sunset. Now please turn to the seventh. Race seven today, the cup. Number one, Lizzie's girl is four pounds over. And in the eighth race, the rider on number two, Dapper Don, Jose Gomez. Number four, Mount Loki is two pounds over. Those are all the changes and corrections to the present time. At this time, just a reminder, please make your wagers as early as possible to avoid any lineups and delays. Live racing continues here tomorrow. First race tomorrow, 2 p.m. Thank you for your attention and good luck.
right. Welcome to the paddock here at Hastings. It's time for our Saturday opener on Cup Day. A great crowd starting to filter in. We've got eight races today. Ideal conditions. 28, well, it's a little warm maybe. 28 degrees right now. It's, we do have a little breeze helping us a bit today. I'm your paddock host, Mike Heads, and i trying to give you as much uh, good intel as I can on all the horses participating today. As we see a very lively number one Barbary Bandit, who's one of five uh, $8,000 maidens here to go six and a half furlongs. First half of your early daily double, there's Exactor and Triactor wagering for you as well. And of course, the win play show wagers are obviously available on all races today. Should be a fun afternoon. And there is the one Barbary Bandit. Good second last time. The horse was second. Beaten about five lengths by English Bay Teddy, who ran very quickly, though. English Bay Teddy would have been the favorite in this race. So losing to that one was no disgrace. This race has come up a little bit tougher with number two uh, grooving his back, dropping in class. But, uh, but Barbary Bandit, definitely interesting in here. Salvino Morales will... We'll ride. Looks like Apprentice Fraser Abley had quite a few choices in here. He ends up on the four. But uh, six to one, uh, currently the price on Barbary Bandit. He has no speed, so look for him to just settle in behind the leaders. And hope that something transpires on the head end. Probably won't be too far off the pace. Actually, last time when the pace was slow, he was right up close to it. Currently sitting at 6-1. to one. That's the one Barbary Bandit. Number two will be Groovin' is back. This is your favorite. It's 7-5. to five. Uh, If you bet 5 bucks on him, you get $12 back. Make 7 bucks on your 5 buck investment. Gets leading rider Amadeo Perez. He's riding at 40% right now. This three-year-old is dropping from 16,000 maidens in for eight, so it's, he's running against easier horses than he was last time. He doesn't have a, a whole lot of speed, but in this race there isn't much of it anyway, so he might be able to find his way to the front. Definitely an interesting runner in here. He's, he's the best on paper. He's been off for about five weeks now. But he had a good work last weekend in 101 and 4. I took him to win it. I'm not totally in love with him, but uh, I do like his chances, even knowing he's going to be a, quite a short price in the investments. Number three will be Texas Legacy. Some mare running against the boys. Actually, the inside two horses are, are, are geldings, and the outside three are the fillies and mares. Didn't do very nice with the post draws. But uh, this one was second to penalty to Rangers last time. I thought it was a pretty good effort. It's just a field of five, and the, one of the horses get nice trips in field of five, and it's, that's what she's going to get served up again today. But uh, Texas Legacy, I've got her for... For fourth, actually, uh, I didn't totally love the horse in this particular spot. Barbary Bandit continues to put on a good show, number one. Liking the music today. But there's a good look at Texas Legacy. Currently at five to one with Jose Gomez for trainer John Snow. Number four is CC Sunrise. This is the one that I fancy second best, you know, behind the two groove in his back. But CC Sunrise goes without blinkers. Fraser Abley had his choice of the one, three, and four. He ends up on the four horse so that, you know, they don't always choose the right ones, but he's dropping in class out of that BC Christie Chi Chi song race. She's definitely a good chance in here. She has probably the most speed. She will likely be 
either on the lead by herself or right on it, head and head. So, and that's usually a good place to be is right near the lead in these races with maidens. The less dirt hitting, hitting you in the face, the more apt you're going to be to run a better race. Three to one right now on the four, CC Sunrise. And rounding out the field to be number five, that is Darless Fury for the Ironside Stables. And trainer Rob Van Overshot, we should note that Rob had a nice win yesterday at, in Edmonton at Century Mile, is forced to reckon with, owned by Paul Caravetta's uh, JDP Holdings Limited. And Brian Bood Ramsing up won the Sonoma Stakes, uh, $50,000 stake yesterday in Edmonton. So uh, congratulations to Rob. This one did show good speed last time. Was out there battling in a maiden allowance race, but did succumb to those early those early fractions which uh, they were setting. They weren't really flying, but uh, she definitely needs easier company, and she gets it today. She's down here for the 8,000, in for 10, being a BC bred. Kamal Santo will ride. Currently 6-1 to one on the 5, Darless Fury. Well, there's your field of 5. They're maidens. None of them will want to race. Somebody's going to get the job done today. I went 2-4-1. and one. That's kind of the way I see it here in the Saturday opener in the first half of your early daily double where you have to pick the winners of races 1 and 2, but you got to do it now before uh, the race runs. You also have exact to try actors and your win place show bets as well. Right, good luck everyone throughout the day. Thanks uh, for coming out. Should be a lot of fun. Horses will be uh, heading out onto the track. The jockeys will be getting aboard here in the next 30 seconds, and uh, we'll get on with the post parade, and we're going to get things underway here on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here at Hastings Park. Enjoy the show today. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're betting, yeah, pick your own numbers. You can, or if you want to listen to the others, uh, I, I'm going to lean to the 2, 4, and 1 here in race number 1. Good luck, everyone. Hey, horses on the track at Hastings for the opener. It's a field of five to go six and one half furlongs. Here's the field. Number one, Barbary Bandit, owned by the Charlie Stable. The rider is Silvino Morales. Number two, Groovin is back, owned by Todd Mountain. Thoroughbreds with Amadeo Perez aboard. Three, Texas Legacy, owned by Daryl Hammond, Christy Hammond, John Snow, and Bill Doby. Jose Gomez rides. Four, CC Sunrise, owned by the Willow Creek Farms. Apprentice, Fraser, ably up. And number five, Darla's Fury, owned by the Ironside Stables Limited. The rider is Kamal Santo. Five minutes to post time. Now as we kick off Cup Day, let's go down to the paddock.
and Bailey Williams. Thank you, Dan. Just five minutes away from the opener here. Welcome to everyone joining us for the Cup. A lot of you are first-time attendees, so if you have any questions, make sure to ask, and we can get you on your way to your wagering needs here in the opener. I went to the favorite. Number two, Groovin is back. A little bit of class relief here today. The rider change to leading rider, Amadeo Perez, definitely won't hurt this horse's chances any in today's event. Number one, Barbary Bandit was a nice runner-up effort to, to a dominant English Bay Teddy last time out. This horse had an unfortunate fall three starts back and has been able to come back into his running groove. Look for him to have a nice improved effort here today. Silvino Morales takes the call. He's on his toes here in the paddock, warming up really well on post parade, getting good energy out. And rounding out my top three is the four, Philly in here, CC Sunrise. The blinker's off today. My only concern with that is hoping to get her to settle on the front end, but there is a lot going on. There's lots for her to look at coming down the stretch, as long as she's able to keep her focus with the equipment change. I went 2-1-4 here in the opener. You have four minutes to make your wagers. Get them in early, and best of luck. Key West Ford reminds you there are just two minutes left to place your wagers at Hastings. Under a minute to post time at Hastings, less than a minute.
the horses have reached the starting gate. And loading it down for the opener at Hastings as we kick off Cup Day. First one up will be CC Sunrise. Groovin is back, goes into gate two. Texas Legacy into gate three, currently sitting at five to two. Now CC Sunrise in. Outside gate belongs to Darla's Fury. Last of five, a Barbary Bandit. Five in, they're at the post. There they go. CC Sunrise, Texas Legacy. Groovin is back. Now moves up along the inside. On the outside now is Darla's Fury and Barbary Bandit, the early trailer. Under the line, it's Groovin is back. With the lead now by a little over a leg. CC Sunrise in second. Darla's Fury is third. Barbary Bandit's at the rail and Texas Legacy, the trailer, five off the lead. Into the clubhouse turn they go. Opening quarter, 22 and four. Past the half mile marker they run. And Groovin is back. Leads it now by a length and a half. CC Sunrise second. At the rail, Barbary Bandit. Texas Legacy advancing on the outside. Two and a half lengths back is Darla's Fury. As they run to the 516th marker, it's still on that lead. Groovin is back. Texas Legacy on the outside of CC Sunrise and Barbary Bandit. Half 47 and one. Midway on the final turn. Groovin is back, leads it by a length and a half. Barbary Bandit takes up the chase. CC Sunrise and Texas Legacy as they turn for home. Groovin is back, leads it now by three. And down the lane they come. Groovin is back, Barbary Bandit, CC Sunrise and Texas Legacy as the favorite. Groovin is back, wins it by two and a half. Barbary Bandit second, CC Sunrise, Texas Legacy and Darla's Fury. On the board, the unofficial winner, number two, Groovin is back. Number one, Barbary Bandit second. Four, CC Sunrise third. And number three, Texas Legacy fourth. Two, one, four, three on the board.
into the winner's enclosure. The winner of the opener, number two, Groovin is back. Owned by the Todd Mountain Thoroughbreds, trained by Edgar Mendoza, assisted by Christina Mann. Winning rider, Amadeo Perez. Groovin is back. Is a three-year-old gelding by Bakken out of Omi. Bred in BC by Elton Gunther. Final running time, 118 and 62, 100. Two one exacta was worth nine dollars sixty cents. The two dollar try two one four twenty four ten. Final running time for the six and one half furlongs was one eighteen and sixty two one hundredths. In the second number four to be sunny two pounds over. Post time is twenty minutes away at two thirty. Also new to wagering. Stop by the red H. P.I. Bet Tent, located at the winner's enclosure, and they'll help you with all your wagering knowledge.
All right, welcome back to the paddock here at Hastings. It's time for race number two on our Saturday afternoon program. Well, congratulations to the Todd Mountain Thoroughbreds, Edgar Mendoza, and Amadeo Perez as Groovin is back, wins race number one with authority. Nice win for Groovin is back. All right, the second puzzle of the day is for non-winners at two lifetimes. It's a $4,000 event, uh, $7,500 if you're a three-year-old. They're going six and a half furlongs. This kicks off to pick five. You pick five players, you get to kick into action here in race number two. Also, exact a triactor, win play show wagering here on the second. On screen right now, we're looking at the four. That is 2B Sunny, who is my top pick. We'll see if we can find the one perfect penny. But uh, for now, we'll, the four horse, uh, 2B Sunny. Big class drop for this one, 8,000 down for the four. Blinkers go back on. This horse did race in blinkers last year. They took him off. And he started run, she started to run some good races, but ended up... Uh, not winning one. And this year, a couple of good thirds in small fields, but uh, last time lost interest, so they're going to put the blinkers on. There's the four. That is to be sunny. I'm going to take her on top. I've taken her in tougher spots, so I can't leave her now. As she does drop to the $4,000 level. See if we can get a shot of the one horse here. Perfect penny. Let's we'll see where we go next. There's the one. Perfect penny in behind. The perfect penny was uh, a good second, two starts back to Texas Humor. Came back two weeks later. A little bit of a wide trip for perfect penny last time. Amadel Perez will be aboard perfect penny today. Nine to five, why not? He doesn't lose many, Amadel, so uh, why, why not jump on the wagon? And a lot of people are. Currently the co-choice at 9-5. to five. For the Willow Creek Farms is Steve Henson. There's a better look at Perfect Penny. A win in a second and a third this year from five trips to the post. The only thing that hurts her a little bit is her lack of speed. She does not have front-end speed, so... Uh, don't expect her to be out there on the lead or anything. She's going to be just in behind the leaders. And uh, mind you, there isn't a whole lot of speed in the race. So perhaps Amadeo could find his way to the front. But definitely uh, a major player is the one perfect penny at 9-5. to five. The two will be a little Miss Intaglio. There's the two, Little Miss Integral. You just see her going out of screen. Had a lot of trouble at the gate last time. Uh, she's obviously done some schooling. I'm going to give her another go here. Jose Sanchez rides for Brian Bood Ramsing, who's currently in Edmonton. Fresh off his victory yesterday with Force to Reckon in the Sonoma. Force to Reckon with in the Sonoma. And, of course, he rides Boitano a little later on at Century Mile for trainer Mel Snow in a $100,000 stakes race. Number three will be striking value. There's a three striking value. Got the blinkers on in behind there and Definitely a horse of interest in here. Just finished winning, going a mile and a 16th. Unfortunately, shortening up to six and a half furlongs. Uh, she's a filly that 
did beat the boys, but now has to run against, is in against the girls, which is a plus, but the negative is she's shortening up to six and a half furlongs and uh, did lose to Drill Baby Drill, who was also in the lineup today. But uh, if there is a pace on up front, perhaps the three-horse striking value will be uh, a threat. Fraser Abley rides for Maureen Byrne and Frank Baraby, Hall of Fame trainer. There's the three striking value. The rider Fraser Abley up. There's a look at all of our selections. I went 4 1 and 5 here in race number two. Good luck, everyone. You got seven minutes to post to kick off your pick five. Horses on the track at Hastings, race number two, field of five to go six and one half furlongs. Exactor, triactor, one dollar pick five wagering. No carryover in the pick five pool. Post time, six minutes away. On parade number one, Perfect Penny, owned by the Willow Creek Farms, the rider Amadeo Perez. Two, Little Miss Intaglio, owned by Don Daynard with Jose Sanchez up. Three, striking value, owned by Maureen Byrne. Apprentice Fraser ably rides. Four, to be sunny, owned by Bruce Unwin with Jose Gomez. And number five, drill, baby drill. Owned by Don Daynard and Mel Snow, Ridge, Bell, Gobin aboard. Six minutes to post time.
Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Testing at the paddock. We got one minute to post. Get your wagers in. Under a minute to post time at Hastings. Less than a minute.
Starting in now for the second at Hastings. Striking value has been loaded. First one up. Perfect penny to the inside gate. Next one forward is To Be Sunny. Second choice on the board at two to one. Little Miss and Taglio to gate two. Outside gate, drill, baby, drill. Five in. They're at the post. There they go. Striking value is off a step slow. To be sunny, put right on the early lead on the inside, perfect penny. Drill, baby, drill on the outside, Little Miss and Teglio, and striking value now working her way up along the inside. As they go to the clubhouse turn, it's to be sunny with the lead now by two. Perfect penny, second by two, striking value third. On the outside, drill, baby, drill, and at the rail, Little Miss and Teglio. As they run past the half mile mark, Opening quarter, a leisurely 24 and 1. To the back stretch they go, to be sunny, trying to gear it down, leads it by three quarters of a length. Perfect penny comes to call, three wide, there's striking value. Then three lengths back, drill, baby, drill, and Little Miss Centaglio. Past the 5 16 the half was a dawdling 49 flat. And to be sunny extends the lead now to two. Perfect penny is trying to be roused in second. Three and a half legs back is striking value. Three to drill, baby, drill. And Little Miss Centeglio up the turn into the stretch. And to be sunny leads it by two and a half. Perfect penny in second. Deep stretch. It's to be sunny, well in the clear. To be sunny wins it by four. Perfect penny second, striking value third. Drill, baby, drill. And Little Miss and Taglio. Unofficial winner, number four, to be sunny. Number one, perfect penny, second, three, striking value, third, five, drill, baby drill, four. Four, one, three, five. Please hold all tickets as there is a steward's review into the start of race two. Hold all tickets.
In the winner's enclosure, the winner of race two, number four, to be Sunny. Owned by and trained by Bruce Unwin, the winning rider, Jose Gomez. To be Sunny, a six-year-old mare by Sun Gold out of the end of the rainbow. Red NBC by the owner-trainer, Bruce Unwin. Please note after Stewart's review, they have determined number three, striking value. Did receive a fair start, just got away slowly. Once again on the board, 4135, unofficial. Now, once again, just a reminder, if you are having trouble with wagering, stop by the red tent located by the winner's enclosure, the hpibet.com tent, and they'll help you with your wagering needs. The result is official. The $2 exactor was worth $6.80. $2 try, $20.30. Daily double two and four, $9.90. Final running time, 118 and 52 one hundredths. There was a claim in that second race. Number five, Drill Baby Drill, claimed by the Win Racing Stables. Trainer, Larry Grieve. Up next, race three. Number four, Lent Me 20, is five over. Number five, Little Sister Lee, is three pounds over. Post time for race three. Currently sitting at 19 minutes away at three o'clock.
Here, attention please for a late scratch now in this third race. By order of the stewards, scratch number four, lent me 20. Scratch the four, lent me 20 from this third race. All win, play, show, exactor, triactor, and superfecta tickets will be refunded. If you have pre-purchased a pick five ticket, you will receive the board favorite. And if you pre-purchased a pick three ticket, you can go back for an exchange or take the board favorite at off time. Once again, late scratch in this third race. Number four, lent me 20. Horses on the track, Hastings, race three. Please note, for safety concerns, they have been sent directly to the backstretch. Scratch the four, lent me 20. Field of five to go six and one half furlongs. Field includes number one, Sweet as Honey, owned by Len Howling and Mel Snow. Apprentice Fraser ably rides. Two, She's on Fire, owned by the Ironside Stables Limited with Kamal Santo. Three, Classy Legacy, owned by the Rocking Barbie Outfit. 
Curry Powell rides. Scratch the four, Little Sister Lee, owned by Roy and Dixie Jacobson, with Amadeo Perez. And number six, best one yet, owned by the Willow Creek Farms, the rider Silvino Morales. Nine minutes to post time. Please note there is a late equipment change in this third race on number three, Classy Legacy. Blinkers are on, blinkers on for the three, Classy Legacy.
Under three minutes to post time at Hastings. Under three. Key West Ford reminds you there are just two minutes left to place your wagers at Hastings. The horses are approaching the starting gate. The horses have reached the starting gate. Starting in now for the third at Hastings. This third race is the City of Vancouver Councillor's Purse. First one up, Sweet as Honey, to the inside gate. She's on fire to gate two. Little Sister Lee comes forward.
Two left to load, Classy Legacy and best one yet. Best one yet to the outside gate, now waiting on Classy Legacy. Classy Legacy being a little reluctant to load. Classy Legacy was right up to the gates, but now backed away. Classy Legacy goes in without the rider. Curry Powell will reunite inside the gate. Five in, they're at the post. There they go. Little Sister Lee pops out on top and grabs an early lead. It's Classy Legacy in second. She's on fire, now rolls up on the outside. Best one yet, and sweet as honey, under the line for the first time, Little Sister Lee. From the rail, leads it by a neck. On the outside, she's on fire, second by two and a half. Classy Legacy in third, followed by best one yet, trailer, sweet as honey. Opening quarter in 22 and four. As they run past the half mile mark and head for the back stretch. Little Sister Lee leads it by a head. Right there on the outside, she's on fire. Second now by about five. Classy Legacy third. At the rail, making some headway. Now best one yet, and sweet as honey. Past the 5 16 they go. The half, 46 and two. And it's now she's on fire. The six to five choice with the lead. She's on fire by a neck. Little Sister Lee, second by a length and a half. Best one yet is the danger and closing up on the outside. Sweet as honey and classy legacy. Three across the track and down the lane they come. Best one yet, far outside. She's on fire. Little Sister Lee, sweet as honey. It is best one yet with the lead. Best one yet will win it. Sweet as honey, second. She's on fire, third. Little Sister Lee and classy legacy. On the board, Dan official winner, number six, best one yet. Number one, Sweet as Honey, second. Number two, She's on Fire, third. And number five, Little Sister Lee was fourth. Six, one, two, five, unofficial.
The result is official. 6-1 exact, uh, $2 price, 126. 612, $2 try, 145.90. Into the winner's enclosure, the winner of the third, number six, best one yet. Owned by the Willow Creek Farms, trained by Steve Henson, assisted by Robbie Henson, winning rider Silvino Morales. Race three today, the City of Vancouver purse. Please welcome to the winner's enclosure, Vancouver City Councilors, Sarah Kirby Young, Peter Meisner, Lisa Dominato, and Mike Klassen. Best one yet is a four-year-old filly by Lent out of Dancing Dahlia. Right in BC by Sue Anderson. Final running time was 120 and 14 one hundredths. Race four, number six, Timely Shrug, one pound over. Please note post time is now sitting at 44 minutes away at 4.02 as we go down to the center stage at the west end of the grandstand. And Bryce Vince.
All right, we're back here in the paddock. Time for race number four here at Hastings. Got to feel the six. $4,000 claimers. Going to go six and a half furlongs. We have Exacta, Triacta, Superfecta. Start another pick three here on races four, five, and six. Another pick three on races four, five, and six. For you pick three players. Well, we'll briefly catch up on uh, some of the winners today. Of course, back in race number one, the two. Groovin is back. One for Todd Mountain Thoroughbreds, Edgar Mendoza, and Amadeo Perez. Race number two went to Bruce Unwin's 2B Sunny, who was afforded a pretty easy lead at 24-49 under Jose Gomez, and they cruised to victory in race number two. In race number three, coming from well off the pace, taking advantage of a pace tool was the six. Best one yet for Willow Creek Farm, Steve Henson, and Silvino Morales. As the best one yet. One race number three, which seems like hours ago. Here's the one. This is Tiz Meow. Trailed the field throughout in the first up run this year. This is an easier assignment for him, though. This race didn't come up tough at all. Tismiao's run some good races in the past that are plenty good enough to to win this race. It's pretty generous six to one on Tismiao. I I think he should be the third favorite in here. We'll see when we get closer to post time whether uh, I'm right or not. But yeah, he definitely deserves to be the sec second or third favorite in this one. Larry Citran will ride for the Diot Racing Stables and Ryan Diot, who's on the head end there. Does a good job with his small stable with his wife, Judy. Number two will be Vancouver's Hunter. A close fourth to Patty Dioro, Ace Deuce, and it's in command last time. He was just fell victim to a slow pace. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of speed in here again, so he may fall victim to it. So he might be relegated to a, a lesser placing, maybe third or fourth in your tries or supers. Kamal Santo will ride for Hall of Famer Harold Barabee, currently at 5-1. to one. That's the two-horse Vancouver's Hunter. Number three will be another Guinness for Maureen Byrne and Frank Barabee. Fraser Abley rides, probably going to take a seat behind the speed. He was up there close last time through a slow fractions. It didn't stay on at all. He's always been a little better tracking the speed, but uh, we'll see how he fares today. Three to one. So there is some interest on another Guinness. He had two years off between. Uh, he's had two years off a couple times throughout his career. Takes him a while to get back to the race as the eight-year-old son of Rossberg. But uh, rounding into form, get a little better race last time, but still needs to get better if he's going to win today. Number four will be it's in command. Definitely will be the horse to catch in here. He's got a pile of early speed. He set a pedestrian pace last time, 23 and 2, 47 flat. He almost stayed the trip. Got caught by Patty Dioro and Ace Deuce in deep stretch. Got to deal with Ace Deuce again. But uh, he's going to be in control in here, which will make him dangerous. Curry Powell rides for Harold and Sandra Barabee. Don't think he should be 9-2. to two. He should be a lot less than that. Not often you get an 11-year-old in the race, and he isn't even the oldest horse in the race. And that honor goes to the five, Ace Deuce, who uh, ran a much better race second out, time out this year. Just got beat to Patty Dioro. Had an eventful trip that day. Amadeo Perez will take over for Antonio Reyes, who's currently in Edmonton, awaiting to ride a, at attention in the $100,000 Century Mile Handicap. Got some good music going on today. Hopefully you can hear it. It's 
not bothering the 12 year old ace deuce though but he certainly looks like he's sitting on a win he's in a pretty soft category here I think the 12 year old and the 11 year old are going to be awfully tough the five and the four they got lots of experience and uh, and they're both in good form right now as well as I mentioned leading rider get, jumps aboard and number six will be timeless shrug for the Rockfield Farm and Ralph Zaft. Well beaten in first two starts this year, but once again fell victim to slow fractions. Gonna be some slow fractions again today. That's my only concern with him. But, or her, pardon me. It's a mare going on up against the boys. Eight to one is the price on Timeless Shrug. There's a better look at her as she come out of her stall. All right, field of six, $4,000 claimers. They're going six and a half furlongs. We're kicking off uh, another pick three here on races five, four, five, and six. We have Exacta Tractor, Superfecta Wagering, as well as that win play show wagers. I went five, four, and one. That's kind of the way I see it here in this afternoon's fourth. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you back here in the paddock for race number five.
The horses on the track at Hastings, race number four, field of six. They're going to go six and one half furlongs. Exactor, Triactor, Superfecta, pick three, wagering post time in four minutes. Field includes number one, Tiz Meow, owned by Dayot Racing, Leary Cicheran Rides. Two, Vancouver's Hunter, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Harold Barby, Kamal Santo aboard. Three, another Guinness, owned by Maureen Byrne, with apprentice Fraser Abley. Four, it's in command, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Harold Barby, Curry Powell Rides. Five is Ace Deuce, owned by Barb Heads, Amadeo Perez in the saddle. And the sixth, Timeless Shrug, owned by the Rockfield Farm, the rider Jose Sanchez. Four minutes to post time. Down to the paddock and Bailey Williams. Thank you, Dan. Just four minutes away here from race number four. A field of six veteran campaigners here to go six and a half furlongs. I went to number five, current tote board favorite at three to two, and that is Ace Deuce. This horse ran second to Patty Dioro last time out in similar conditions here. Leading rider Amadeo Perez does take the call here today on this 12-year-old. Hold knocking gelding here. Number four, it's in command will definitely be in command early on in this race. Last time out was able to settle, be the only pace on the front end and get easier fractions where he was almost able to go gate to wire. Look for a good effort from him here at today as well. And number one, Tiz Meow is rounding out my top three. He had that start last time, July 2nd. I think he definitely needed that race coming off of a long layoff since September of 2022. I think he'll have an improved effort in here today. Having that start and not hitting the top three has made him eligible to be in this race where you cannot have finished one two three except for in these races i went five four one here in race number four you have two minutes to make your wages get them in early and best of luck Key West Ford reminds you there are just two minutes left to place your wagers at Hastings.
Under a minute to post time at Hastings, less than a minute. The horses have reached the starting gate. Starting it now for the fourth at Hastings. Timely Shrug, the first one up. Inside gate is Tiz Meow. Vancouver's Hunter goes in. It's in command. Another Guinness. And Ace Deuce. Six in. They're at the post. There they go. Ace Deuce quick at the break and right on the early lead. It's in command. Now drives up along with another Guinness. And down towards the inside is Tiz Meow, Vancouver's Hunter, and Timely Shrug. Under the line for the first time. It's in command. Has the lead of a length and a half. Another Guinness in second. Ace Deuce on the outside third. Well positioned by Perez. Down towards the inside is Tiz Meow. Big break of three and a half now to Vancouver's Hunter and four to Timeless Shrug. Opening quarter, a quick 22 and one. As they head down the back stretch, it's in command, leads it by two. Another Guinness second by the same margin. Ace Deuce on the outside of Tiz Meow. Then it's about six back, Vancouver's Hunter and five to Timeless Shrug. They reach the far turn, the half, 45 and three. Quarter mile from home. It's in command, leads it by two. On the inside, another Guinness. On the outside, Tiz Meow. Ace Deuce has got more work to do. Then it's two and a half lengths back to Vancouver's Hunter. And down the lane they come. It's in command, has the lead. Leads it by three quarters of a length. Here's Tiz Meow on the outside. Another Guinness at the rail. Tiz Meow, another Guinness. They are right together. It's in command, will be third, photo for fourth. Photo sign will be posted. Photo sign on the board, hold all tickets.
In the photo number three, another Guinness is the unofficial winner. Number one, Tiz Meow second. Number four, It's In Command third. Number two, Vancouver's Hunter fourth. Three, one, four, two, unofficial. In the winner's enclosure, the winner of race four, number three, another Guinness. Owned by Maureen Byrne, trained by Frank Barraby, the winning rider, apprentice, Fraser Abley. Another Guinness is an eight-year-old gelding by Rosberg, out of Irish State Dancer, for NBC by George Gilbert. The result is official. 3-1 exacta was $125.80. 3-1-4 try was $841.60. 20 cent super 3142 $133.28. Final running time 118 and 91 one hundredths. In the fifth. The owner line on number one, Cillerone. Please add Cheryl Benson. The rider on number two, Tuxedo, is Kamal Santo. Number four, Silver Arrow, five over. Correct the weight on the five, Dynamiter, to 122 pounds. Race five kicks off our $20,000 guaranteed pick four. It's a 20 cent wager. Post time, 20 minutes away at 4.32. And to our on-track guests here attending the Cup, this will be your final opportunity to purchase 50-50 tickets.
continued. We're back here in the paddock. Time for race number five here at Hastings. Got to feel the six four thousand dollar claimers, uh, non two lifetime. Actually, a variety of claiming prices here. But they're going a mile on the sixteenth. We're kicking off your pick four here on races five through eight. Uh, this is a twenty thousand dollar guaranteed payout pool in the pick four. Put up Kamal Santo on the two tuxedo. Well, congratulations to uh, Maureen Byrne and Frank Barabee. And Fraser Abley is another Guinness. Gets up in the final stride to defeat the one Tismio who ran a winning race as well. But those two put on a good show today. Another Guinness gets the money in race number four. Alrighty, here comes number one. It's a Silverone. It's my top pick in here. I think this horse will run a big race today. First up off the claim for Nicole Rycroft. It's a good opportunity anyway. Claimed for the same money last time. They don't jump it up at all. Just waited the jail term and uh, they run it right back. Good work in 47 and 2 last uh, Sunday morning, and uh, gonna try him without the blinkers. Blinkers off. First time going long, and he, he certainly seems like a type that will run long. I think it'll bring out the best in him. <laughs> Currently at five to one, I'm kind of surprised to see him that big a price. But uh, he was a closing second behind. There goes my hero. Uh, the D was claimed. But I think he's got some upside. He's, he's not facing the toughest crew today, so uh, I don't mind the one horse, Silverone. Number two will be Tuxedo. He chased the pace last time and got a little tired late. Uh, He's always been a little better when he can track the speed, but we'll see how he how he does. But uh, when he will be one of the top two in the early in the race because there isn't any speed in it. So I think it should be a slow pace, which will give him a shot. He went a little way too quick last time, and it cost him as uh, well. Philly Fatale did go wire to wire in that one, but Tuxedo just did hold off Stop Shop and Shelley for second. He's a player in here, currently sitting at 4-1. to one. As I mentioned, Kamal Santo will be the new pilot for Ralph Jeziak and Rob Van Overshot. Huh? Three will be ATM. Best run this year was his first one. We were on fourth behind Roly Spirit and Silarone. Only beaten a link for second that day. Ran him long last time, and he it didn't his form didn't get any better. He was a big price at thirty-seven to one, but as you would expect, he's been a big price throughout his career. But uh, he did win at fifty-four to one there, as you see last August. Curry Powell will be the new pilot on ATM. He's usually coming from a little off the pace. But he's got to get passing horses. That's the whole key. Owner trainer Joey Turcott on the head end. As I mentioned, Curry Powell at five to one. Pretty uh, low price. I'm sure that price will rise. If you're a fan of the three ATM. Number four, Silver Arrow. I liked this filly last time in that race. And she ran okay. You know, there was a great... You're not going to get any better pace scenario than what she got last time. They went 23 flat. They did slow it up a bit to 47 and 4, 113. And she started to creep up on the back stretch, but and then on the stretch turn, but really flattened out down the lane, lost a, 
a position late to stop shop and Shelly. But it's in her to win this race, uh, definitely. Will it be today? We'll see. Four to one on Silver Arrow with Scott Williams. Number five will be Dynamiter, your current favorite at two to one. He was a closing third sprinting, but they were rocking and rolling up front with Monty setting a very ambitious pace of 21 and one. But he ran third that day. That was a tougher uh, non 3 8. Gets back in against the $4,000 ranks where he did win. Just did defeat something elusive that day in 148 and change. I think he'll need to be better today to win, but we'll see. Amadeo Perez will ride Dynamiter. He's a big, good looking horse and. And number six will be Blackstone. He just beat a pretty soft group of maiden four granders a couple of weeks back. Fraser Abley will ride, looking for back-to-back -back wins. Gets in light with 110 pounds. That's a big plus. It's a little bit of a little stubborn at the gate last time, and hopefully he's better today. But he was not much fun to try and load last time when he did win. But he leaves the gate good. He will likely be the pace setter in here. Whether he can go a mile to 16th, we'll, that story will, will be told in eight minutes. But uh, he's certainly eligible. Gets a break in the weights, and uh, he's certainly of interest. In here. There's, there's no standouts in this race. I've gone to Cillerone, who has not put up big numbers at all. So uh, this is a... A wide open affair, as you say. I took the two Nicole Rycroft horses, the one and the five. Put the two tuxedo in for third. There's your six non two four granders. We're going a mile on the sixteenth here. Kicking off, more importantly, the pick four. So you pick four players, uh, get those wagers in. Just one scratch in the pick four sequence. It's in race number six. In race six, scratch the six, Serengeti Sunset. That's in race number six, scratch the six, Serengeti Sunset. You're up to date with the changes in the late pick four. Good luck, everyone. Bugler Gidida springs the field on the track at Hastings for race number five. Field of six are going to go a mile and a sixteenth. Exactor, Triactor, Superfecta, and Pick Four Wagering. Pick Four Pool guaranteed at $20,000. Post time, five minutes away. Here's the field number one, Cillerone, owned by Kathy Rycroft, Kelly Rycroft, Dennis Dale. Tabitha Perry and Cheryl Benson, Ridge Bell, Gobin aboard. Number two is Tuxedo, owned by Ralph Jeziak. Kamal Santo rides. Number three is ATM, owned by Joey Turcott. Curry Powell's in the tack. Number four, Silver Arrow, owned by the Pocket Aces Racing Stable, with Scott Williams. Five, Dynamiter, owned by George Georgopoulos and Terry Georgopoulos. Amadeo Perez in the tack. And number six is Blackstone, owned by George Gilbert. The Riders Apprentice, Fraser Abley. Five minutes to post time.
All right, very raucous crowd here today on Cup Day here at Hastings. Here's our pick four sponsored by Twinspires.com. $20,000 guaranteed in that pick four pool. I've got one, two, five with two, four, five with three, four, six with six, seven for 1080. Mike spread deep in this opening leg. He's gone one, two, five, six with four, five with one, four, six with four, six, seven for 1440. That is our pick four, guaranteed at $20,000, sponsored by Twinspires.com for Saturday, July 22nd. All right, down to the paddock area and Bailey Williams. Thank you, Dan. Just four minutes away from getting in those guaranteed $20,000 pick four tickets to get your wagers in as early as you can. Number four, Silver Arrow, the one filly in here. I have her in my show spot. She made her four-year-old debut at the distance of a mile and a sixteenth. She definitely got a little bit tired that time, but she does like the distance. So I think if she can lay off a little bit of that early fraction and make a good run late. She tried to last time, got a little bit tired coming for home and flattened out down the lane. Hopefully she has an improved effort here today, currently at four to one. Number five, Dynamiter. He did break his maiden at the distance of a mile and a sixteenth. Not the most impressive of times. However, the race really went his way. He got the lead early, took command, and just was able to go from gate to wire. If there's a little bit of pressure today. It'll be see what he is able to do. And number two, Tuxedo. His first start this year, definitely needed that. Came back with a nice runner-up effort going a mile and a sixteenth to Philly Fatal last time out. If he can lay off a little bit, he pressed the pace early last time, and I think that cost him a little bit of his lengths that day. So I went 2-5-4 here in race number five. Again, that kicks off your guaranteed $20,000 pick four pool. So get those tickets in, and best of luck. Key West Ford reminds you there are just two minutes left to place your wagers at Hastings.
the horses have reached the starting gate. Last chance to get involved in our $20,000 guaranteed pick four. Starting in now for the fifth at Hastings. First one up will be Blackstone. ATM goes in. Dynamiter. Silver Arrow in the black sleeves. Silarone. The last of six will be Tuxedo. Just waiting on Tuxedo. Tuxedo goes in, six in, they're at the post. There they go. From the outside, Dynamiter put on the early late. Tuxedo drives up. Blackstone's on the outside. It's ATM who gets away in fourth, followed by Silver Arrow. And the early trailer is Cillerone. The field is getting spread out. They're on the turn, and Dynamiter shows the way. Blackstone's on the outside. Tuxedo at the rail, two and a half off it in third. Big break of six now to ATM, Silver Arrow, and Cillerone. Opening quarter, a lively 23 and 3. As they pass by us now for the first time, it's Dynamiter with the lead. Dynamiter leads it by a length and a half. Blackstone second by four. Tuxedo is third by five. ATM races along in fourth. Then Silver Arrow now given a few nudges to keep up. And Cillerone the trailer, he's about 11 off the lead. To the back stretch they go, the half a demanding. 47 and 2. And Dynamiter is out there by two and a half. Blackstone in second. Tuxedo now scrubbed on in third. It's four lengths back to Silver Arrow. Cillerone is now closing ground. And ATM. They've reached the far turn. Six furlongs and one twelve and three. They have to come and catch Dynamiter. His lead has shrunk a little low. It's only now two. Tuxedo is second. Two and a half back. Cillerone. And at the rail, Silver Arrow. As they turn for home, Dynamiters led it from the start and comes home with a two-length lead. Cillerone sweeps wide for the drive. Tuxedo and Silver Arrow. It's Dynamiter trying to go all the way. And Dynamiter does it. He goes all the way. Silver Arrow second. Cillerone third. Tuxedo fourth. Followed by ATM and Blackstone.
On the board, the unofficial winner, number five, Dynamiter. Number four, Silver Arrow, second. Number one, Silarone, third. Number two, Tuxedo, fourth. Five, four, one, two on the board. Into the winner's enclosure, the winner of race five, number five, Dynamiter. He's owned by George Georgiopoulos and Terry Georgiopoulos, trained by Nicole Rycroft, and the winning riders, Amadeo Perez. Dynamiter is a four-year-old gelding by Sun Gold out of Amber Moon, bred in BC by Mr. and Mrs. R.J. Bennett. The price is up on the board. The 5-4 exacta was worth $23.20. 541, $2 try, 52.10. 20 cent super was $10.24. And the pick three, you only need two of three. Once again, please note two of three on the pick three returns $31.60. Final running time for the mile and a 16th, 147 and 6 100s. Two claims in that fifth race. Number one, Cillerone, was claimed by Rob and Sheena Maben. Trainer, Rob Maben. And number five, Dynamiter, claimed by the Wind Racing Stables. Trainer, Larry Grieve. Up next, race six, number one, higher image, two over. Five, Chi Chi's song is three over, scratch the six. Post time, 20 minutes away at 5.04.
All right, we're back here in the paddock. Time for race number six here at Hastings. Got to feel the five. $16,000 Philly and Mare Maidens. They're going to go six and a half furlong. Scratch the six. Serengeti Sunset. Scratch number six. Serengeti Sunset. We have Exacta Triactor. I think we still have the Superfecta. I don't know for sure. But uh, pick three wagering is your final pick three for you. Pick three players on races six, seven, and eight. Congratulations in race number five to uh, Terry and George's uh, Georgeopolis's Dynamiter. And trainer Nicole Rock Rycroft as Amadeo Perez guides Dynamiter from wire to wire fashion. Earned the fractions definitely. 23 and 3, 47 to 12 and 3. Kept going to Dynamiter and he got the money comfortably under Amadeo Perez. Congratulations to the connections of Dynamiter in race number five. Well, here's the one. This is higher image. Had a couple of runs this year at the same level and hasn't produced, well, one run for optional uh, 50 and then one for down here for the 16 or 20. Obviously, she needs to move forward off of those two races to be competitive in here. Has the work last week or a couple weeks ago in 101 and 3. Currently sitting at 5-1. to one. I think those odds will likely rise as we get closer to post. It's just she doesn't have speed. There isn't much speed in the race. And her so far her 2023 form is, you know, it's just not good enough to win in here. Is can't sugar sugarcoat it. It's She needs to be better. And if she is today, then she's got a chance because she stakes placed. She was third in the Sadie Diamond Futurity last year. But she's got to get back to that form. Sylvina Morales will ride for Edgar Mendoza in the LH Stables, which is Len Harris, currently sitting at 5-1. to one. Number two will be Peterson Landing. Much improved effort last time, ran third, beating only a length to BC Christie and Chi Chi's song. Kamal Santo will be back aboard for Edgar and the Todd Mountain Thoroughbreds and James Radikop. Doesn't have... A bunch of speed. I mean, he's he's not slow, but he's been in small fields and has only been able to sit in the third spot. I think there's others others in here that are a little faster than her. And front bandages go back on today. Currently four to one on Peterson Landing. Number three will be Ms. Stanford. Made her 2023 debut uh, against the boys in a tough maiden 50. That was won by Wicked Knight. Desired outcome and stablemate Stanford North ran third. Fraser Abley rides. Moral Common Soli and Dino Condolinios. Obviously might have needed the race. This is an easier spot. Much easier spot for her. Gets back in against her own sex. And... Uh, Less speed in the race as well, because she was stakes placed last year as a two-year-old filly, and definitely probably has more to give. We'll see if it happens today. Nine to two on Ms. Stanford. Next up is number four, BC Choo Choo. I thought a really good third behind Indietta, who's just been she's uh, won three in a row now, Indietta. She's been off since the end of May, but has two excellent comeback works. I think she's your horse to beat. I like the four BC Choo Choo. Ridge Balgobin will take over for Brian Boudram Singh, as we mentioned earlier, who's riding in Edmonton today on Boytano for trainer Mel Snow. And number five will be Chi Chi's Song, and I kind of like a Choo Choo Chi Chi or Chi Chi Choo Choo exactor here. Chi Chi's Song for the Forester Stable and Blue Willow Dairy. Uh, just missed the BC Christie last time. Ran a winning race, but didn't get the money. Now they Perez back aboard, looking for back-to-back -back wins. Set two seconds this year. Definitely one of the horses to beat is the five. Chi Chi Song. Currently at three, your three to two favorite. I like a Chi Chi Choo Choo. 
here in race number six. There's your field of five, 16,000 R Maidens. Kicking off your late pick three. Four, five, three for me here in race number six. Bugler Gita brings them on the track for race number six, field of five, scratch the six. They're going to go six and one half for longs. Exactor, Triactor, Superfecta, and late pick three wagering. Post time, six minutes away. Here's your field number one, Higher Image, owned by the LH Stables. The rider, Silvino Morales. Two, Peterson Landing, owned by Todd Mountain Thurbeds and James Redekop with Kamal Santo. Three, Ms. Stanford, owned by Moro Comensoli. Apprentice Fraser Abley aboard. Four, BC Choo Choo, owned by Don Daynard and Sue Daynard. Ridge Bell Gobin riding. And the five, Chi Chi Song, owned by the Forster Stable, and Blue Willow Dairy Limited. Amadeo Perez takes the call. We're under five minutes to post time. Once again, let's go down to the paddock area and Bailey Williams. Thank you, Dan. Just five minutes here from race number six. Hope you're still live in that pick four wager. Heading into the sixth race, I singled number five, Chi Chi Song, currently six to five on the tote board. This horse has two back-to-back runner-up efforts at two different distances. I really liked her last start where she shortened back up to six and a half furlongs. She did save herself a little bit. She likes to get out. And going a mile and a 16th, you could really see that in her. Hopefully she can lay a little bit closer in today and save herself a few lengths to get that maiden victory. Number four, BC Choo Choo, again, was just behind uh, Chi Chi Song in her last start today. Ridge Bell Gobin does take the call for this filly here. Rounding out my top three is the three, and that is Miss Stanford. Finally got her first start of her three-year-old year. Look for an improved effort from here here today, Fraser Abley. And the weight allowance here in race number six. You got four minutes to make your wagers. Get them in early, and best of luck.
Key West Ford reminds you there are just two minutes left to place your wagers at Hastings. Under two minutes to post time at Hastings, less than two. The horses have reached the starting gate. Loading it now for the sixth at Hastings. First one up is Higher Image. Peterson Landing goes in. BC Choo Choo. And Chi Chi Song. Last of five, Ms. Stanford. Five in, they're at the post. There they go. Chi Chi Song from the outside on the early lead. Ms. Stanford gets away in second. Down towards the inside is Peterson's Landing. On the outside now, BC Choo Choo. Higher image is the trailer. As they go under the line for the first time, it's Ms. Stanford with the lead. Chi Chi Song is on her outside. Down towards the inside, Peterson Landing. Three wide into the turn, BC Choo Choo. Trailer, higher image. Past the half mile marker they go. Opening quarter, a leisurely 23 and one. To the backs right they go, and from the outside now, B.C. Choo Choo takes the lead. B.C. Choo Choo leads it by three quarters of a lick. Ms. Stanford second by two. Chi Chi Song in third, Peterson Landing, and higher image. As they race into the far turn, 
the half was 47 flat. And BC Choo Choo's out there now with a length and a half lead. Chi Chi Song is trying to close in on the leader. Ms. Stanford Peterson landing and higher image. Eighth of a mile from home. And it is BC Choo Choo with a short lead. Chi Chi Song though, dead aim on the outside. Chi Chi Song takes the lead. It's Chi Chi Song to win it. BC Choo Choo second, Peterson landing third, Ms. Stanford and higher image. On the board, the unofficial winner, number five, Chi Chi Song. Number four, BC Chu Chu second. Number two, Peterson Landing third. Number three, Ms. Stanford fourth. Please hold all tickets. There will be a stewards review into the stretch run. Unofficially, five, four, two, three, with a stewards review into the stretch run. Once again, please note there is a stewards review into the stretch run. An official winner in the winner's enclosure, number five, Chi Chi Song, owned by the Forrester Stable and Blue Willow Dairy Limited, trained by Dave Forrester, assisted by Samuel Dominguez. Aboard for his third winning ride, if the result stands, is Amadeo Perez. Chi Chi Song is a three-year-old filly by finality out of Amarachi. Red NBC by Gladys Didloff and Karen Didloff. Please note the stewards review has been concluded with no change. Numbers posted on the board, five, four, two, and three.
The result is official. The 5-4 exacta was worth $9.40. $2 try was $21.80. $0.20 cent super was worth $3.19. The big $3 price, you need three of three, $176.45. And there were no winners on our $1 pick five. The carry over to Sunday, $6,367. Final running time, one nineteen and eight one hundreds. On to race seven, this is the cup. Field of six to go a mile and an eight. Number one, Lizzie's girl, four pounds over. 20 minutes to post time at 5.34.
right, we're back here in the paddock. Time for race number seven here at Hastings. Got to feel the six. To a mile and an eighth, $4,000 claimers. Kicking off your late daily double. Race is seven and eight. Congratulations to the Blue, Blue Willow Dairy and the Forster Stables. Chi Chi Song and trainer Dave Forster, Hall of Fame trainer Steve, Dave Forster, with his assistant Sam Dominguez and Murray Isbister as Chi Chi Song wins for Amadeo Perez in race number six. Number one is Lizzie's Girl for DNA Racing and Tara Nigel. Lizzie's Girl is. Uh, and against the boys, unfortunately, it's just one of those things. There's no girl races going long. She wants to route. That's her thing. And she can win today. It would be nice to run. You know, it would be a sure victory if she's running against the girls. But uh, and against the boys, again, she was a thir good third behind Barney Google and You Don't Know Me. But she didn't get the best of trips that day. But she's going to get a good trip in behind the leaders under Silvino, Silvino Morales. She had another good ride on her. Uh, she had four runs this year. One was a big win for 4,000 on three there under Fraser Abley. I think she's going to get a good trip today. I've got her for third, but I can definitely see her winning for Daryl and Liz Jones. And best of luck to them today. Nine to two on Lizzie's girl. Number two is Bodega for Roger Snow and Mo Doyle. Going to stretch him out and go long. That's his best distance. He's not a sprinter, and he kind of showed that in his first two runs, but he had to shake off some rust, and he's done that. So look for him to appreciate the extra ground. And there is the threat of some speed in here. Dawn with the wind, the five, and the six you don't own me are both usually uh, taking up the front end spot. Just make believes never too far away either. Patty DiOro can show speed too. But Bodega will likely be last early. But this might be a good race to be last early and then uh, make one potent late kick if he's got that in him. He's currently 6-1. to one. Apprentice uh, Fraser Abley rides. He's had a good week. Won four in uh, Winnipeg on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Not four each day, but four in total, which is kind of cool. Looking to keep a good week going here with Bodega. There's a good look at him. Number three will be Patty Dioro. Just finished winning a far easier $4,000 race going sh short. Going to stretch out back and go long where he's... He's beaten these horses before. Just needs to, you know, the right kind of trip. That's all that matters. With these horses, you, it's, it's pretty... You're splitting hairs, you know... We, there's not much between any of them. Whichever horse has a little bit better trip that particular day will, will win. And it's, it's if even though you won last time, if you get a lousy trip next time, you're not going to win. You're not that much the best. These horses are well matched, and uh, Patty Duro fits perfectly in here for Gabe Mathusek and her partner Carl Austin. Currently sitting at two to one. Wow, didn't, didn't see that coming. Four is just make believe. I think he'll go off as the favorite. He's dropping from sixty-two fifty in for the four. He's in for the five, being a BC bred. His race two back probably totally destroys this field. He had a tough trip last time. He didn't get any position at all. That broken, broken Mr. Quality. Race. That's a tough race. This is so much easier in here. He's your horse to beat. I like the four. Just make believe. I think he's going to run a big one today. Number five will be Dawn with the Wind for the hot GDP Holdings Limited. Paul Caravetta's outfit and Rob Van Overshot. Of course, they won the Sonoma State yesterday at Century Mile with Force to Reckon with. Dawn with the Wind. Hasn't had a great start to the season so far. So hopefully he can rebound with a better effort today. Kamal Santo will ride. And number six is You Don't Own Me. He's had a great season to date. The last two runs have been two good seconds behind Barney Google and 
a very sharp Barney Google, and prior to that, Gorky Park. He botched the start last time, and that cost him, or he would have been better and more of a factor with Barney Google in the stretch. Larry Seacheran rides. He's got to break good if he's going to win the money today. Because he had to use up a little too much horse early to get the position, and it kind of cost him late. That's why you see him fading in the stretch to run three lengths second. But he's a major player in here, and he is 4-1. to one. There's your field of six. Well-matched 4,000-dollar claimers going a mile and an eighth. Long run to the turn. We're going a mile and an eighth here, kicking off your late daily double. Good luck, everyone. 4-6-1 for me. Hey, horses on the track at Hastings for race number seven, field of six. They're going to go a mile and an eighth. Exactor, try, superfecta, late daily double wagering, post time in five minutes. Here's the field number one, Lizzie's Girl, owned by D&E Racing, Silvino Morales rides. Number two, Bodega, owned by Roger Snow and Morris Doyle, apprentice Fraser Abley in the tack. Three, Patty Dioro, owned by Gabriel Methusek, Amadeo Perez rides. Four, Just Make Believe, owned by Last Call Racing Stable, and Kathy Bourne. Scott Williams up. Five, Dawn with the Wind, owned by JDP Holdings Limited. Kamal Santo rides. And number six, You Don't Own Me, owned by the Minalu Stables and Dave Milburn, Leary Cicheran aboard. We have four minutes to post time. All right, everyone in attendance, get those 50-50 tickets out. Let's go down to the paddock. And Bailey Williams, today's winner, gets $3,315. And it's for the downtown Eastside Neighborhood House. Bailey? Thank you, Dan. We are going to be making two draws right now. The first one will be for the 50-50 prize, and that is a total of $3,315 to the winner. Make sure you head over to the blue tent where you purchase your ticket to claim your prize. And the winning ticket is a blue ticket, and the number is 6061-6907. Again, it's a blue ticket, 6061-6907. You have 15 minutes to claim your prize. If the prize is not claimed, there will be up to two redraws. And our second prize here before race number seven is for a VIP seating at your next visit to Hastings. So this is brought to you by BC Racebook and Dark Horse Bets. So we'll get you to open up the door there on the side. All right, shake them up a little bit here. All right, and the winning name is Tara Martin. If that is you, head on over to the Red BC Racebook tent to get your name and register for your VIP seating. That is Tara Martin. Congratulations to you. And again, those numbers are, we'll read it one more time, a blue ticket. 6061-6907, $3,315. You got 15 minutes to claim your prize. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Key West Ford reminds you there are just two minutes left to place your wagers at Hastings.
Once again, get, grab those 50-50 draw tickets. There's the number on your TV monitors and the big screen. It's worth $3,300 today, 606 16907 You have 15 minutes to report to the blue tent located outside the winner's enclosure or another ticket will be drawn. Once again, grab those tickets, 606 16907 we're at 3,300 and change. The horses have reached the starting gate. Voting again now for the seventh at Hastings. This is the cup race. Just make believe goes in. Done with the win, gate five. You don't own me to the outside. Six in. They're at the post. There they go. Don with the win from the outside, trying to gun for the early lead. Patty Duro trying to keep mid bay. Just make believes on the outside in third. Lizzie's girl is fourth. You don't own me. Fifth early trailer is Bodega. Rounding the far turn now, it's Don with the win. Clearing up now by three. Patty Dioro, closest pursuer. Lizzie's girl's at the rail. Just make believe on the outside. Then it's back to You Don't Own Me and Bodega. As they pass by us now for the first time, the opening quarter in a solid 23 flat. Don with the win shows the way. Patty Dioro posed, poised in second. At the rail is the mayor, Lizzie's girl. Then just make believe, you don't own me, and Bodega into the clubhouse turn they go. And Don with the win shows the way. The half, 48 and one. And Don with the win controls the tempo, leads it by three quarters of a length. Patty Dioro now inching up on the outside. Lizzie's girl at the rail. Just make believes on the outside. 
Paired off now is You Don't Own Me and Bodega. As they race down the back stretch with three furlongs to run. Six furlongs in, one thirteen and four. And Dawn with the win, still with the lead. Patty Dioro now roused in second. Just make believe as Asper run in third. Lizzie's girl fourth, You Don't Own Me and Bodega. They're midway on the final turn, three sixteenths from home. And Dawn with the win now opens up again by a length and a half. Here's Lizzie's girl making headway at the rail as they turn for home. Dawn with the win leads it by two. Lizzie's girl is now inching up on the outside. Patty Dioro third. Dawn with the win is gone with the win. Dawn with the win wins it by two. Lizzie's girl second, close for third. Patty Dioro and Bodega. On the board, the unofficial winner, number five, Dawn with the wind. Number one, Lizzie's girl, second, there is a photo for third, hold all tickets. In the photo for third, number three, Patty Dioro is third. And number two, Bodega fourth. Five, one, three, two. Into the winner's enclosure, the winner of race seven, the cup. This is number five, Don with the wind. He's owned by JDP Holdings Limited, trained by Rob Van Overshot. Assisted by Lisa McPherson, the winning rider, Kamal Santo. Please welcome to the winner's enclosure to decorate the winner, Mr. Jerry Williamson, Director, Gaming Facilities and Development, BCLC. Bal Bamra, Director of Gaming Operations, BCLC. Mr. Chuck Keeling, Executive Vice President, Stakeholder Engagement and Social Responsibility and the principal from Parade Agencies, Dax Trotsky. Don with the Wind is a five-year-old gelding by second in command out of Summer Bay, Brennan in BC by John Schoen, Jackie Schoen, and Samantha Shedd.
The result is official. The exactor 5-1 returned $69 even. 5-1-3 $2 try was two oh six eighty. And the 20 cent super 5 one 3 2 168 34. Final time for the mile and an eighth was 152 and 16 one hundredths. Eighth and final event, the rider on number two, Dapper Don, is Jose Gomez. Number four, Mount Loki, two pounds over. Post time for the eighth and final 18 minutes away at 6.02. All right, last call for our 50-50 draw. There will be another ticket drawn. Once again, it's on a blue ticket. 606-16907. You've got about under a minute to get to that blue tent or another ticket will be drawn.
All right, get those 50-50 tickets out once again. We did not have a winner claim within the 15 minutes. New number on a yellow ticket. 606 054 78. Yellow ticket 606 054 78. You've got 15 minutes to claim your prize at the blue tent outside the winner's enclosure. Once again, it's on a yellow ticket. Okay, we're back here in the paddock. Time for our eighth and final live race on Cup Day here at Hastings. Hopefully you've enjoyed the show today. Still got one more live race for you. Got a field of seven maidens. Going a mile on the 16th here. Exacta Triactor, Superfecta, Super High Five. Got every kind of gizmo wager you need here on the last. If you want to simplify it, go win. Win place show. On backtracking to race seven, congratulations to the GDP Holdings and Rob Van Overshot, assisted by Lisa McPherson and ridden by Kamal Santo. Is done with the win, wires the field. Much better horse when he's on the lead. He gets pretty brave out there. He won pretty easily, did Don with the win in 152 flat. But congratulations to the hot connections that won in Edmonton yesterday in the Sonoma with Force to Reckon With, and they fire right back with Dawn with the Wind in race number seven here in Vancouver. Right, number one is Harbor Storm. Off to pace chance today. Looked like he was going to win it last time. Made a good three wide move. Got a little tired late. Got beat a length and a half to striking value on Mount Loki. Striking value came back to run third today against winners. So I don't know how much strength was in that race. That will remain to be determined. Ridge Balgobin re-rides for Charlene Miller. Whose horses are running good. Just can't seem to get the goose egg out of there. Nine to one on Harbor Storm. Two will be Dapper Don. This is the one run this year. First run in four years. That's quite a spell. Got to be ten links to three day bender and Donero. Jose Gomez will be the pilot on Dapper Don as he looks pretty sharp here in the paddock. We'll see how he goes today. Number three is Showman. He's always on his toes. Going to go back without the blinker. Splinker's off for Showman. I believe they were off last time. Might be a misprint. Curry Powell rides. Six to one on Showman. He'll be the speed going long. Number four is Mount Loki. 
He had a good trip in behind the leaders, had every shot to win it, couldn't get the job done. It was a real tight photo, though. Silvino Morales will be aboard. Five is Union Man. He's had a few chances since arriving here. Dropped down to the $4,000 claiming price. Last time was just a mid-pack performer behind Blackstone, who did not fare well earlier today. Amadeo looking for three. Six is, I think the contention is on the bottom here. Six, something elusive. This horse has got a big chance. His second behind Dynamiter. That horse come back to win easily today. That second behind Dynamiter on June 18th is a winning race. Can't, and then his next race after the claim, he ran against 8,000. He jumped up and ran against no pace and just had no luck behind English Bay Teddy and Barbary Bandit. He's live in here. That's a six something elusive. And number seven is De Niro. He's going to go a mile to 16th for the first time, but he's the son of Jersey Town. He shouldn't ha handle he should handle the distance easily. He's had two runner-up efforts by Blackstone, three-day bender. Gets in light with Apprentice Fraser Abley. Well, there's your field of seven. $4,000 maidens. We're going a mile to the 16th. I went seven, six, and four. Good luck whichever way you see it. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. If you enjoyed the show today, please do come out tomorrow. First race at 2 o'clock. we got seven more races for you on Sunday. Once again, starting at 2. Let's send it up to Dan for the post parade of race number 8. And for the final time today, Bugler Gita Das brings the horses on the track for our 8th and final event. Here's your field number one, Harbor Storm, owned by Warren Wilson, Neil Stetkowski, June Sutherland, Barry Hickman, and Charlene Miller, Ridge Belgovan riding. Number two is Dapper Don, owned by Jean Lavallee. The rider is Jose Gomez. Three, Showman, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Harold Bearby, Curry Powell aboard. Number four, Mount Loki, owned by the Willow Creek Farm, Silvino Morales rides. Five, Union Man, owned by George Georgiopoulos and Terry Georgiopoulos, Amadeo Perez in the saddle. Six, Something Elusive, owned by Jim Strachan, Leary Cicheran rides. And number seven, De Nero, owned by Triple Eight Racing, Apprentice Fraser Abley in the tack. Four minutes to post time. Once again, our redraw on our 50-50 ticket. Get those 50-50 tickets out. It's on a yellow ticket. 606-054-78. You've got now about five to seven minutes to claim your prize at the blue tent outside the winner's enclosure. For the final time today, let's go down to the paddock and Bailey Williams. Thank you, Dan. Just three minutes here from today's eighth and final race feature here. I went to the outside horse, Din Arrow, currently two to one on the tow board. First time stretching it out long, has had two back-to-back runner-up efforts, looking for that maiden victory here. Definitely has the bottom line pedigree to be able to go the distance. Hopefully he has a smooth sailing trip and will be the one to come and beat. Something elusive I have in my place spot shortened back up to six and a half last time out had to run into some tough horses that day i do think he does his better running going long today back to his more preferred distance of a mile and a 16th and rounding out my top three is mount loki definitely was a bit of a shocker last time to run uh, second by just a nose definitely has the size showed he liked the distance had a much improved effort that day look for him to fare well in here as well i went seven six four here for the finale you got two minutes to make your wager hope you can join us back tomorrow first race is at 2 p.m key west ford remind you there are just two minutes left to place your wagers at hastings
Under a minute to post time at Hastings, less than a minute. The horses have reached the starting gate. Loading it now for the nightcap as we wrap up the cup day here at Hastings. Mount Loki, the first one up. Dapper Dawn in the purple to gate two. Something elusive goes in. Showman, gate three. Outside gate, De Nero. Seven in to close it out. They're at the post. There they go. Showman put on the early lead. Now moving up on the outside, something elusive. In between them is Union Man. Far outside is De Niro. Mount Loki's at the rail. Three lengths for the back is Dapper Don. Harbor Storm is the early trailer. They're on the turn, and Showman from the inside has a short lead. Pressing Union Man. Something elusive now takes the seat in third. Two lengths back, De Niro in fourth. To his inside is Mount Loki, followed by Dapper Dawn and Harbor Storm. Opening quarter, 24 flat. Under the line, their noses apart. Showman on the inside, Union Man on the outside. Three lengths back, something elusive. Sits in third, followed by De Niro in fourth. Then it's two lengths further back now to Mount Loki. Big break of four to Dapper Dawn on his outside, Harbor Storm. Past the half mile mark they go, the half went up in 48 flat. To the back stretch they go with Showman from the rail and tracking on the outside, Union Man. Something elusive, waits no more. De Niro also moving with him. Length back is Mount Loki. Then we have Dapper Dawn, Harbor Storm as they race past the 5 16 marker. Six furlongs and 114 and three. And something elusive and De Niro now heads apart. It's two lengths back to Mount Loki. Union Man, then we come back to it. Dapper Dawn, Harbor Storm, and Showman. Eighth of a mile from home, and on the outside, De Niro has a narrow lead. Down at the rail is something elusive. Far outside, here comes Mount Loki. It is De Niro, Mount Loki closing in. Mount Loki takes the lead. Mount Loki to win it, De Niro second. Something elusive third, Dapper Dawn fourth. Union Man completes the super high five.
On the board, the unofficial winner of race eight, number four, Mount Loki. Number seven, De Niro, second. Number six, Something Elusive, third. Number two, Dapper Don, fourth. Completing the super high five, number five, Union Man. Four, seven, six, two, and five. Into the winner's enclosure, the winner of race eight, number four, Mount Loki. Owned by the Willow Creek Farms, trained by Steve Henson, assisted by Robbie Henson. Winning rider, Silvino Morales. Mount Loki is a three-year-old gelding by Rallis out of a song for our bony. Bred NBC by Black Canyon Thoroughbreds Limited. All right, we have not found our 50-50 winner yet. For the third and final time, it's on a blue ticket, our third draw. 606, 160, 4-4. Final redraw, blue ticket, 606, 160, 4-4. You've got approximately... Ten minutes to claim your prize at the blue tent located outside the winner's enclosure. And your ticket is worth over $3,300. There it is up on your screens, a blue ticket 606-16044, worth over $3,300. Get to the final prices in a moment. Take four, you need four of four. Let's go to the exactor with 64 
90. Two dollar try, 120, 40. Super, 118, 66. Pick four, 6702. Super high five, 358 dollars even. Late double of five and four return ninety dollars and forty cents. Pick three and eat three of three, one thirty-five twenty. Final running time one forty-eight and seven one hundredths. That'll wrap up the Cup Day card here at Hastings. Don't forget live racing does continue here tomorrow afternoon. First race tomorrow, two p.m. We hope you enjoyed the twenty twenty-three Cup. Drive safely. See you soon. Good night.
There they go. CC Sunrise, Texas Legacy, Groovin is back, now moves up along the inside. On the outside now is Darla's Fury and Barbara Bandit, the early trailer. Under the line, it's Groovin is back, with the lead now by a little over a length. CC Sunrise in second, Darla's Fury is third. Barbara Bandit's at the rail and Texas Legacy, the trailer, five off the lead. Into the clubhouse turn they go, opening quarter, 22 and four. Past the half mile marker they run. And Groovin is back, leads it now by a length and a half. CC Sunrise second. At the rail, Barbary Bandit. Texas Legacy advancing on the outside. Two and a half lengths back is Darla's Fury. As they run to the 516th marker, it's still on that lead. Groovin is back. Texas Legacy on the outside of CC Sunrise and Barbary Bandit. Half 47 and one. Midway on the final turn. Groovin is back, leads it by a length and a half. Barbary Bandit takes up the chase. CC Sunrise and Texas Legacy as they turn for home. Groovin is back, leads it now by three. And down the lane they come. Groovin is back, Barbary Bandit, CC Sunrise and Texas Legacy as the favorite. Groovin is back, wins it by two and a half. Barbary Bandit second, CC Sunrise, Texas Legacy and Darla's Fury. There they go. Striking value is off a step slow. To be sunny, put right on the early late on the inside, perfect penny. Drill, baby drill on the outside, Little Miss and Teglio, and striking value now working her way up along the inside. As they go to the clubhouse turn, it's to be sunny with the lead now by two. Perfect penny second by two, striking value third. On the outside, drill, baby drill, and at the rail, Little Miss and Teglio as they run past the half mile mark. Opening quarter, a leisurely 24 and one. To the back stretch they go, to be sunny, trying to gear it down, leads it by three quarters of a length. Perfect Penny comes to call, three wide, they're striking value. Then three lengths back, drill baby drill, and Little Miss Centaglio. Past the 5 sixteenths, the half was a dawdling 49 flat. And to be sunny extends the lead now to two. Perfect Penny is trying to be roused in second. Three and a half legs back is striking value. Three to drill, baby drill. And Little Miss Centeglio up the turn into the stretch. And to be sunny leads it by two and a half. Perfect Penny in second. Deep stretch. It's to be sunny, well in the clear. To be sunny wins it by four. Perfect Penny second, striking value third. Drill, baby drill and Little Miss Centaglio. There they go. Little sisterly pops out on top and grabs an early lead. It's classy legacy in second. She's on fire now rolls up on the outside. Best one yet and sweet as honey. Under the line for the first time, little sisterly. From the rail leads it by a neck. On the outside, she's on fire. Second by two and a half. Classy legacy in third. Followed by best one yet, trailer sweet as honey. Opening quarter in 22 and four. As they run past the half mile mark and head for the back stretch. Little Sister Lee leads it by a head. Right there on the outside, she's on fire. Second now by about five. Classy Legacy third. At the rail making some headway now, best one yet. And sweet as honey. Past the 5 sixteenths they go. The half 46 and two. And it's now she's on fire. The six to five choice with the lead. 
She's on fire by a neck. Little Sister Lee, second by a length and a half. Best one yet is the danger and closing up on the outside. Sweet as honey and classy legacy. Three across the track and down the lane they come. Best one yet, far outside. She's on fire. Little Sister Lee, sweet as honey. It is best one yet with the lead. Best one yet will win it. Sweet as honey, second. She's on fire, third. Little Sister Lee in classy legacy. There they go. Ace, deuce, quick at the break, and right on the early lead. It's in command, now drives up, along with another Guinness, and down towards the inside is Tiz Meow, Vancouver's Hunter, and Timely Shrug, under the line for the first time. It's in command, has the lead of a length and a half. Another Guinness in second, Ace, deuce on the outside, third. Well positioned by Perez. Down towards the inside is Tiz Meow, Big break of three and a half now to Vancouver's Hunter and four to Timeless Shrug. Opening quarter, a quick 22 and one. As they head down the back stretch, it's in command, leads it by two. Another Guinness second by the same margin. Ace Deuce on the outside of Tiz Meow. Then it's about six back, Vancouver's Hunter and five to Timeless Shrug. They reach the far turn, the half, 45 and three. Quarter mile from home. It's in command, leads it by two. On the inside, another Guinness. On the outside, Tiz Meow. Ace Deuce has got more work to do. Then it's two and a half lengths back to Vancouver's Hunter. And down the lane they come. It's in command, has the lead. Leads it by three quarters of a length. Here's Tiz Meow on the outside. Another Guinness at the rail. Tiz Meow, another Guinness. They are right together. It's in command, will be third, photo for fourth. Photo sign will be posted. There they go. From the outside, Dynamiter put on the early lead. Tuxedo drives up. Blackstone's on the outside. It's ATM who gets away in fourth, followed by Silver Arrow. And the early trailer is Cillerone. The field is getting spread out. They're on the turn, and Dynamiter shows the way. Blackstone's on the outside. Tuxedo at the rail, two and a half off it in third. Big break of six now to ATM. Silver Arrow and Cillerone. Opening quarter, a lively 23 and three. As they pass by us now for the first time, it's Dynamiter with the lead. Dynamiter leads it by a length and a half. Blackstone second by four. Tuxedo is third by five. ATM races along in fourth. Then Silver Arrow now given a few nudges to keep up. And Cillerone the trailer, he's about 11 off the lead. To the back stretch they go, the half, a demanding 47 and two. And Dynamiter is out there by two and a half. Blackstone in second, Tuxedo now scrubbed on in third. It's four lengths back to Silver Arrow. Cillerone is now closing ground and ATM. They've reached the far turn, six furlongs and one 12 and three. They have to come and catch Dynamiter. His lead has shrunk a little low. It's only now two. Tuxedo is second, two and a half back, Cillerone, and at the rail, Silver Arrow. As they turn for home, Dynamiters led it from the start and comes home with a two-length lead. Cillerone sweeps wide for the drive, Tuxedo, and 
Silver Arrow. It's Dynamiter trying to go all the way, and Dynamiter does it. He goes all the way. Silver Arrow second, Silverone third, Tuxedo fourth, followed by ATM and Blackstone. There they go. Chi Chi Song from the outside on the early lead. Ms. Stanford gets away in second. Down towards the inside is Peterson's Landing. On the outside now, BC Choo Choo. Higher image is the trailer. As they go under the line for the first time, it's Ms. Stanford with the lead. Chi Chi Song is on her outside. Down towards the inside, Peterson Landing. Three wide into the turn, BC Choo Choo. Trailer, higher image. Past the half mile marker they go. Opening quarter, a leisurely 23 and 1. To the back stretch they go. And from the outside now, BC Choo Choo takes the lead. BC Choo Choo leads it by three quarters of a length. Ms. Stanford second by two. Chi Chi Song in third. Peterson landing and higher image. As they race into the far turn, the half was 47 flat. And BC Choo Choo's out there now with a length and a half lead. Chi Chi Song is trying to close in on the leader. Ms. Stanford, Peterson Landing, and higher image. Eighth of a mile from home, and it is BC Choo Choo with a short lead. Chi Chi Song, though, dead aim on the outside. Chi Chi Song takes the lead. It's Chi Chi Song to win it. BC Choo Choo second, Peterson Landing third, Ms. Stanford, and higher image. There they go. Don with the win from the outside, trying to gun for the early lead. Patty Duro trying to keep at bay. Just make believes on the outside in third. Lizzie's girl is fourth. You don't own me. Fifth early trailer is Bodega. Rounding the far turn now, it's Don with the win. Clearing up now by three. Patty Dioro, closest pursuer. Lizzie's girl's at the rail. Just make believe on the outside. Then it's back to you don't own me and Bodega. As they pass by us now for the first time, the opening quarter in a solid 23 flat. Don with the win shows the way. Patty Dioro pulls, poised in second. At the rail is the mayor, Lizzie's girl. Then just make believe, you don't own me, and Bodega. Into the clubhouse turn they go, and Don with the win shows the way. The half, 48 and one. And Don with the win, controls the tempo, leads it by three quarters of a length. Patty Dioro now inching up on the outside. Lizzie's girl at the rail, just make believes on the outside. Paired off now is You Don't Own Me and Bodega. As they race down the back stretch with three furlongs to run. Six furlongs in, one thirteen and four. And Don with the win, still with the lead. Patty Dioro now roused in second. Just make believe is asked for run in third. Lizzie's girl fourth. You don't own me. And Bodega. They're midway on the final turn. Three sixteenths from home. And Dawn with the win. Now opens up again by a length and a half. Here's Lizzie's girl making headway at the rail. As they turn for home, Dawn with the win leads it by two. Lizzie's girl is now inching up on the outside. Patty Dioro third. Dawn with the win is gone with the win. Done with the win, wins it by two. Lizzie's girl second, close for third. Patty Dioro and Bodega.
And there they go. Showman put on the early lead. Now moving up on the outside, something elusive. In between them is Union Man. Far outside is De Niro Mount Loki's at the rail. Three lengths for the back is Dapper Don. Harbor Storm is the early trailer. They're on the turn, and Showman from the inside has a short lead. Pressing Union Man. Something elusive now takes the seat in third. Two lengths back, De Niro in fourth. To his inside is Mount Loki, followed by Dapper Don and Harbor Storm. Opening quarter, 24 flat. Under the line, their noses apart. Showman on the inside, Union Man on the outside. Three lengths back, something elusive. Sits in third, followed by De Niro in fourth. Then it's two lengths further back now to Mount Loki. Big break of four to Dapper Don on his outside, Harbor Storm. Past the half mile mark they go. The half went up in 48 flat. To the back stretch they go with Showman from the rail and tracking on the outside, Union Man. Something elusive, waits no more. De Niro also moving with him. Length back is Mount Loki. Then we have Dapper Don, Harbor Storm, as they race past the 5 16 marker. Six furlongs and 114 and three. And something elusive and De Niro now heads apart. It's two lengths back to Mount Loki. Union Man. Then we come back to it. Dapper Don, Harbor Storm, and Showman. Eighth of a mile from home. And on the outside, De Niro has a narrow lead. Down at the rail is something elusive. Far outside, here comes Mount Loki. It is De Niro. Mount Loki closing in. Mount Loki takes the lead. Mount Loki to win it, De Niro second. Something elusive third, Dapper Don fourth. Union Man completes the super high five.